President, uh, Congress, Matt Rack, Fire Brigade Union, uh, supporting the uh, composites. Undoubtedly, brothers and sisters, we're in a new period of turmoil in the aftermath of the EU referendum as the negotiations and confusion around what those negotiations mean unfolds. Tensions in many areas of uh, policy, including huge tensions within the Tory party. And within that context, we need a unique labour movement, working class orientation to the problems that we face in this new period. And the we starting point for us on this is that we are not in this together. And therefore, there's no partnership for us with the Tories, no partnership with the bosses. For us, the EU referendum, bearing in mind the balance of views in this Congress, was a setback for our movement. A setback for the Labour movement and a setback for internationalism. It has, unfortunately, given confidence to the racists. It has given confidence to xenophobes. It has given confidence to those who want to blame migrants for the causes of our problems. And I think we should take this opportunity to send our solidarity, support and sympathy to all migrant and foreign-born workers in the aftermath of the horrific murder in Harlow recently. And we should, it's been said, but it's worth bearing in mind again Low wages are not caused by migrants, they're caused by rip-off bosses. The housing crisis in Britain is not caused by migrants, it's caused by market failure and years of failing to build council houses. And the attacks on our public services are not caused by foreign-born workers, they're caused by those making political decisions in Westminster. Austerity is the fault of the Tories, not of migrants, and by the way, not necessarily of Brussels. The main enemy in this lies in our political opponents there in Westminster. So where does the blame for this mess we're in lie? Well, we don't blame our own members many of whom may well have voted for referendum. But let's remember, actually the majority of Leave voters are in the southern parts of England. The biggest single group of Leave voters were Tory voters. And two-thirds of Labour voters voted to remain. So I and our union do not remotely accept the criticisms of Jeremy Corbyn as though he somehow caused the Leave vote. I've never heard anything so ridiculous in my life. The truth is that Corbyn's scepticism about e the EU reflected the policies of my own union and reflected the policies of many, uh, many unions in this movement. So, the blame lies with the Tories, the lies that were uh, pre presented to voters in the run-off to the referendum. Our starting point has to be no concessions, no race to the bottom, no surrender of rights, no surrender to Lawson when he says this is an opportunity to complete the Thatcher revol re revolution. Yes, indeed, there are working class communities who are alienated by years of deindustrialization, underinvestment, poverty, unemployment and poor housing. Our task, brothers and sisters, is to set out a vision a vision where we put ourselves, the Labour movement, at the head of the campaign to defend rights, to defend jobs, to defend public services in this new and difficult period. There are undoubtedly huge divisions in the Tory party and the next two years will see those divisions grow and grow. We see them already in Cabinet and outside Cabinet. They will grow and we can exploit them if we're prepared to fight. Let us fight, brothers and sisters.